Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Maddie Haker, and this is your KWHS News. <laughs> Thanks for letting us join your classroom this morning with a few announcements and the homecoming wrap-up. But first, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Guess what? Monday, today, we're going to have hot wings. Listen up! The deadline for turning in your purple paper for the free and reduced lunch program is coming up real quick. If you need to submit one, it's an annual requirement. If you need to submit one, please do so soonest so as not to revert back to full pay. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy ASAP so you can continue to eat meals without any hassles. The deadline is September 27th. If you need a form, please see Miss Betsy or your advisory teacher. Gladiators, last week was Spirit Week and we crowned a new homecoming king and queen on Saturday. Congratulations to Student Cabinet for an amazing pep assembly and the sophomore class for a great dance. Special thanks, uh, special thanks also to the band, cheerleaders, athletic trainers, ROTC, flag detail, and of course, the football team for making homecoming so special. Here's a recap of the events. Moose, did you hear that the yearbook now has a Facebook page? No way, that's cool. So if I like their Facebook page, I can share my pictures with them so they can publish the, them in the yearbook? 
Yeah, if you <laughs> message them with your photos, they may be selected for publication. Everyone should check it out. Find them at Whitefield HS Yearbook on Facebook. Moose, there's more yearbook news. Yearbooks are currently on sale for $55 in the business office or at yearbookforever.com. And seniors, remember your deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Mrs. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. That's good to know. Hey Maddie, have you started your college search yet? I have, but I know some seniors haven't, so it's important to know which college reps are visiting us soon. Do you have the lineup? I certainly do. Students, most visits are during advisory in the Counseling Center, and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for those visits, starting with September. Wednesday, September 20th, University of Northern Colorado. Thursday, September 21st, University of New Mexico. September 26th, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. October visits kick off on the 3rd with California Baptist University. October 4th, Colorado Mesa. October 10th, Paul Mitchell the School at lunch at Fort Hayes State University during advisory. October 12th, Hastings College. Luther College will kick off November on Thursday, November 2nd, while Adams State visits on Thursday, November 16th. Mark your calendars with these dates and swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. Sounds great, Moose. Glads, if you cannot make it to these visits, remember there is also a college fair on September 25th at Coronado High School from 5.30 to 7.30. You can speak to over 150 college representatives that night. For more information, go to this address. Now, here's Hannah Hall with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Hey, Glads. Boys Basketball Open Gym starts today. They will be in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m., and it will be on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you are interested but cannot make it today, see Coach Munoz. Our Lady Glad softball team played tomorrow at home against Canyon City. Go check out those bats. The boys' tennis team was on the road on Thursday against Canyon City and brought home some wins. You can catch them today at Fountain Fort Carson and at home on Tuesday against Harrison. In soccer news, the boys fought hard in Falcon on Thursday and kicked in a W to add to their season record. This week, the soccer team is at Gary Berry Stadium against Coronado at 6 p.m. The cross-country team ran in Durango over the weekend and continues to put WHS runners in the record books. Way to go, cross-country! In volleyball news, our Lady Glads are on fire. They easily won their match against Pueblo Centennial 3-1 on Wednesday of last week. The ladies are on the road in Falcon tomorrow night to continue their streak. Keep it going, ladies. And finally, our gladiators, our gladiator football team took on the Cheyenne Mountain Indians on Friday night and added another impressive W to their record. It looks like that no-huddle approach is working wonders for the gladiators. Next up for the gladiators is the Palmer Terrors on Friday at Gary Berry Stadium at 7 p.m. Good luck to our sports teams this week. That's it for your sports update. I'm Hannah Hall. Now back to you, Moose and Maddie. Thanks, Hannah. Attention juniors, if you're interested in taking the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 11th, during periods 1 through 4, you need to sign up and pay for the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16 and you can see Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center to sign up and pay for that fee. The test is optional but mandatory if you're interested in applying for the National Merit Scholar Scholarships. See the Counseling Center website for more information. On that note, juniors and seniors, October 28th is the only date this year where WHS is a test site for the National ACT. The deadline to register is this Friday, September 22nd, and the fee is $46. Go to act.org to register. The school code for WHS is 060299. See Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center for more information. Want to go on a cool adventure? Mrs. Murphy is taking a group of students to the Galapagos Islands in June of 2019. If you're interested in this amazing trip but miss the meeting, please see Mrs. Murphy in room 123 to pick up a flyer. Finally, here's your clubs and activities update for Monday and Tuesday. Student Union is now open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. Remember, you must have a sticker on your ID to stay or play or work on homework. Science Club meets, uh, meets on Mondays at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also meets on Mondays in room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Miss Hines. The Spirit Club also meets after school on Mondays in rooms 502 or 511. Check your calendar for these Tuesday meetings. Forensics in Mrs. Owen's room at lunch. Check with her or Mr. Elhoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Their next pickup is scheduled for this Thursday, September 21st. 
Book club also meets every other Tuesday at lunch in library in the magazine room. They just met last week, so their next meeting will be September 26th. See Ms. HK or Ms. Molina to find out what book they're reading. Our link crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays at lunch in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Ms. Shepard. On Wednesday, we'll have other club meetings and activities happening later this week. Club sponsors and leaders, if you have club news you want advertised on KWHS News or posted on our website, please contact Daniel Robinson or Dylan Mack in room 102 or you can email Mrs. New. That's all for us today. Have a great rest of the week. We'll be back on Wednesday. Until then, I'm Maddie Hager. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News.